Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Unicorn Overlord and uh, we just freed this harbor. So let's explore this area now. Hello there, your highness. You can trust the defense of this port to me. I've heard all kinds of stories about the liberation, but the rumors honestly don't do you folks justice. This was a hard one fight, that's for damn sure. I wasn't sure I was gonna beat it. It may not be my place to request this, but I do hope you see the rest of Elheim restored to its natural state. They say the Turenos changed after the, after she surrendered to Zenoira. She once brimmed with the utmost vitality and compassion. Whatever has become of her, I don't even know who or what that is. Okay, so we don't have any of this stuff right now. I wonder where that's going to take us, the board ship option here. It That'll is be still interesting. You're, after. you're in the right place. Activates before an ally uses a magic attack. Grants an ally plus 50% magic attack and grants the user minus 50% magic attack. Okay, so you put it on... Well, let's find out. So it does have to go on to somebody who is mage-related. So, like, Monica or Miriam might make sense for that, because they're not actually casting spells. And I don't think either of them have magic weapons right now. That's interesting. Hmm. But if Monica's in a group with another mage, she'll be able to power up their attack. That's pretty cool, actually. I think I might buy that. All right, so it's between Miriam or Monica. And then we just want to make sure they're in a group with probably either Yana, Auk, or Rosalind. Done and done. Be seeing you. Here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Just say the word and it's yours. Thank you very much. Come back soon. All right, Miriam. Monica. I'm gonna give Miriam this, and then that belt can go on you. try that out. So she can power up Rosalind or Yana. Okay, cool. Cool item. I know not how to thank you for your kind deeds, Prince Elaine. This may be a mere pittance, but please accept it as a sign of my gratitude. All right, we have not looked here in a while. Now let's see, you have two of these in stock. I could actually buy both of them, and honestly, part of me kind of wants to. All right, we have to spend in order to even be able to access some of this stuff, so. I think I'm gonna at least get one of these Carnelian Pendants. I've added more items to the list of possible exchanges, my prince. Come back whenever you please. Okay. So now we have access to these. 
Heal 20% HP when using an active skill. God, some of these are good. Okay, this costs two passive points. Initiative and max HP and dynamic glide. Evade a single hit. Grants user plus 20% physical attack. Initiative and max HP again. Aerial wing. Makes the user's next attack a true strike. Grants the user plus 20% attack if the user is at 100% HP. Ooh, man. Okay. Alright. We'll eventually be able to get one more Carnelian Pendant. I'm not going to get it right now. I think I might actually get this Dynamic Glide one. The question is, is... Man, I wish you could see how many um, passive points each of these characters had right off the bat. But this would have to go on somebody who could actually use it. The thing is, is there's so many passive skills that... It's tough to know if this would be better than just what they already have, you know? Alvin, I might give you the Carnelian Pendant for now. Stun immunity. Stun immunity should go on one of my frontliners, I feel like. We can give you a bronze bangle. What do the gauntlets do? Extra guard rate. Let's give you stun immunity. That seems good. All right, so this one right here, the only problem with this one is that it costs four PP to use. It's really cool that it grants plus one AP, but, like, nobody can actually use this. Um, we have one person who has three passive points, I think, and then this gives them one extra one. Hold on, let's, let's take a quick look. Okay, character list. Okay, can't sort by a number of passive points. Okay, so like Scarlet, she has three, but the thing is, is that if we gave her that item, she would just turn into from, she'd go from being a healer to being somebody who could just give somebody else uh, an action point. Because it would use all of her passive points. I mean, yeah, it's something that you can just like turn on and off. Uh, Rosalinda also can do this. Uh, Lin Lin Linologos, what a name. Hodrick could do it.
I'm gonna get it. We're gonna give it to Linalgos and see if we can figure out how to use it. Maybe it's just a thing where we trigger it on when we want to. Because we'd be able to choose who gets it at any point as well. I don't know. I, I just think it might be a useful item. In the right circumstances. Do you have an open slot? You don't, but... That gives you quick heal. That gives you some evasion. Now, she's always going to be in one of the better groups. So I wonder... Hmm. That's tough. Because, yeah, if we're just choosing when we want to, like, give Elaine an extra turn or something, like, Scarlet and them are in a group together pretty much all the time right now, so... Hmm. Okay, have I put Linalgos into a unit yet? She's in a unit. Okay, there he is. Alright, I'm going to give it to her for now. You've already got a silver bangle on, so you can't put on another one. Okay, Lex, there you go. Alright. We thought ourselves safe if we only submitted to, Z to Zenoira, what fools we were. We ought to have held firm in our faith instead. But having failed to do so, we must now reclaim our place in the Father's light. I've scoured the ruins, Your Majesty, and found an urn of hallowed corn ash. I've searched this garrison from head to toe, but didn't turn out much worth mentioning. It's a lot of unsullied timber. Will peace and tranquility ever greet these shores again? Our days of living in fear of Zenoira are finally at an end, and my granddaughter is just as relieved as I, thank you. I hear you and your army have retaken Voinkola. Incredible work, your highness. This elven girl wouldn't even look my way before, but now she came up and talked to me out of her own free will. I'd forgotten how wonderful it can be to engage in idle conversation when I leave the house. Ah, how I miss this. Alright, before I check this one, I want to see if any of the stuff we collected... Because this is the one I'd like to finish first, if anything. Okay, Felsite Stone and Silver Ore. Yeah, those seem like uh, fairly rare items. Maybe they'll become common in the elf area. You're in the right place. Great wood. Magic defense, huh? Alright, cool. It also gives you magic attack. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this next area and see if um, people are strong or weak. I'm guessing like elven people are gonna be fairly strong against magic. But we'll see. 
Be seeing. We might want some of those. We'll see. Okay, connects with Elheim. Sad sight, this must have been one hell of a bridge back in its day. Now it's just a pile of damned rubble. When do you say we help put it back uh, to its former glory? Should only take 30 pieces of fell sight by my guess. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're done with this area. Clive and Monica. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this is their second one, right? Care for a drink, Clive? Oh, Lady Monica, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, not at all. And for the record, I would be glad to drink with you. Uh, but Monica. And so would Clive, it seems. Lead the way, Adel, 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 Adele. <laughs> Once this war's over, you think we're gonna start families of, of our own? Why, is there a lucky lady you had in mind? Uh, what? No, I mean, I, I do get approached a lot, but I've honestly never been great at talking to women. Ever since I was young, I was damn certain I wanted to be a knight. So I spent most of my time on the training ground with sweaty old men, not out in the town with girls. Same as Clive here. I think you've had enough for the evening, Adel. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm barely even drunk yet. Besides, I know you agree with me. If only we had brides of our own, maybe things would be different. All the better if it could be someone gorgeous like you, Monica. Dude, you are... you are hosed. Spoken like a true drunkard. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of betrothal, though, I believe Clive here was once engaged himself. To me. Uh, now wait just a sec. Is she telling the truth, Clive? Adel, please, mind your volume. I was once sworn to be married, yes, but that arrangement has... <sighs> years since been dissolved. <laughs> She's like teasing him, man. You mean, all that time we spent in the Ash and Blue, you weren't actually single? I thought you and me were the same, man. Lone wolves all our lives. Oh, calm yourself, Adel. And you, Monica, cease this mockery of our past at once. Wait, our past? Ah, uh, yes, I suppose I forgot to mention. Clive's former fiance is none other than myself. Was that truly necessary, Monica? Adel? Uh, are you alright, Adel? I think the shock may have broken him. I think he's in love with Monica. Okay, let's go and see about this one. Melisandra and Colm. Elaine hasn't said so much as a single word to me today. Tis, sad st Tis a sad state of affairs, my lady. He is a cruel man indeed to toy with your heart in such a manner. Yet he did show us great kindness in overlooking our past dealings with Sonoira. Perhaps the queenship Lady Melisandra desires... Perhaps the queenship Lady Melisandre desires is not as distant as it appears to be. Though she should marry into the royal family, none would remain to assume leadership of the noble house melee. What are you mumbling about over there, Colm? It's almost time we head off to bed. Have you ever considered the impending existential danger to your lineage, my lady? No, frankly, and now is not the moment to discuss inheritance. We've almost died once in this war, and there's no telling when it may happen again. As it stands, Elaine's mercy is the only reason we still live. So for now, I wish to fight to decide, even at the risk of my own demise. I suppose you make a fair point. I only wish I had more time to tend to my appearance before we rode into each new battle. I can't bear the thought of Elaine seeing my hair a mess and my unblemished skin covered in disgusting sweat. Is that not precisely why I stand beside you, my lady? 
Merely say the word in the midst of combat and I shall ensure you appear as fair as the light of dawn. Mid-battle makeover. Thus, Prince Elaine shall only ever gaze upon you at your absolute best. Colm, please, if you attempted such a thing on the battlefield, neither of us would live to tell the tale. Look at that portrait right now. But enough of this frivolous talk. If I ever hope to court Elaine, I've no choice but to fight on, and that's precisely what I plan to do. Now come, Colm. We'll need our energy for tomorrow. Of course, my lady. Rest well. Okay, she's a... She's an MC sexual. Main character sexual. All right, 121? Oh my gosh, we've been racking them up, baby. All right, Rolf, you get a level up or a rank up. There's always more to learn. Boom, baby. Kinda wanna do Yana. Fran would be good. Ugh, so many of them would be good. Should we do Virginia? She's one of our frontliners. Any of the frontliners getting more to do is uh, pretty damn good. She just costs a lot. It's another 50. Looking good, Virginia. Let's see just how strong I can get. Okay. Bruno might be good. Any of our healers, any support characters, and any frontliners would be good. Albin would probably be really good. Shit, we should do Albin, huh? He's so strong. Never doubt a desert kid. Okay. And that's it for now. All right, so this puts it in order of lowest level. So 15 is our lowest level one that we have access to right now. We've done all of the sigils except this one, right? So we have two level 15s, the sigil and two armies as one. Let's do two armies as one. Okay, this one might be a long one. We've occupied this fort here, yes, but it's not really ours as such. That explains the lack of mercenaries. Okay, enemy level is 15. Bruth Harbor and Dragonhold bears great strategic importance, and heartened by Leah's proposal for a joint operation with the Fruth Militia, the Liberation Army sets out to secure the harbor. Given where the militia is positioned, I propose we employ a two-pronged strategy. A pincer, if you will. I tend to agree, as long as we're careful. If one arm reaches too far ahead of the other, it's liable to have its fingers chopped off. The geysers scattered across the region are another topic to take note of. There's no knowing when one might erupt beneath us. Your Majesty. Apologies for the interruption, but I come with urgent news. The militia grew impatient and went on ahead. They were surrounded before they even reached Fruth. <sighs> this, in the very moment we depended on them. From what I can gather, they weren't too thrilled with the idea of taking help from Cornea. If only they had sense to match their pride. Sending reinforcements will be a dangerous proposition, Your Highness. The militia will fall in but a matter of time. All the same, we can't abandon them to their fates. Not after I'm the one who proposed this operation. I know that you're worried for your friends, Leia. I truly do. But that doesn't make rescuing them any safer. At least let me send someone. Even if it has to be me alone, I'll do it. I'm sorry. The risk is too great. But I can slip past them unnoticed. I swear upon my very life. Joseph, send a scouting party out at once. We prepare to march in the meantime. Very well, Your Highness. Prince. Your knowledge of the land will be invaluable to us, Leia. I ask that you be our guide in the battle ahead. 
As you command. <sighs> okay. Allow me to share word from our scouts, your highness. As we understand it, the Fruth Militia is currently stationed in the ruined uh, church to the north. Yet Zenoira has them surrounded from all angles, leaving well nigh no chance of escape. Of course, our objective here is the reclamation of Fruth itself, not the salvation of their militia. As such, I believe it our wisest course of action to turn our attention solely towards the harbor. How could you suggest such a thing? We can still save them. You mean to prioritize their safety over that of the entire region? No, we'll rescue both. But your highness, we've overcome such disadvantages time and again, Joseph, and we shall do so today as well. Send word to our army, we march in the name of the unicorn. Look, sir, the Liberation has come to our rescue. Don't celebrate just yet, we're bait. Laid out to entrap them, nothing more. Still, they wouldn't let us die, would they? I can't say, but we're the ones who put ourselves in this meth mess, and I can't imagine they'll be too enthusiastic about hauling us out of it. All we can do now is fight with Valor to the bitter end. Ooh, that's a long way to travel. Alright, defeat conditions. We actually do have to save them. Okay. So we've got two pathways. We've got the geysers here. Deals damage to units, knocks units back, temporarily immobilizes units. We're gonna have to be very careful about geysers. Ooh, this is a big map. This is a really big map. Wow, okay. Um, all right, so there's at least one campsite here. I think I see one. Oh, yep, right there. There's one somewhere up here, right there. I'm looking at the map up in the top right corner, so. Okay. So we've got at least three camps. Ooh, this is gonna be a big one. All right. All right, so everybody is currently in a unit. Um, this one is too weak. We have to figure out a different method for this. Um... Yeah, this is the only group that feels like it has two very strong frontliners. We might have to give her now to a different group. Um, and I might want to spread you guys out. And I may also want to give you some items to level you up a little bit. Then we might actually functionally be able to use you. Right now you're a little weak. Yeah, because I want Melisandre and Colm to remain in a unit together. These guys really are best together, it feels like. Now, I could try moving her to a different unit if I wanted to. Um, but I would want to switch her with one of my other healers. Honestly, this group might need the help the most. I wonder if that would be best. They're not as self-sufficient as some of my other units are. Maybe we'll try that. Okay, so that's Tatiana. I mean, do I spread the love and give her a lapis pendant so she can do a little bit more? She 
She just needs some gear, you know? We'll give you the lifeblood staff. You can't really use the revive, but... It is what it is. going to take his silver bangle. Okay. Now, I can't use items to level people up right now, can I? Okay, we can just do that. So, standard. 300 experience to a selected ally grants three times the experience if they are level 20 or below. To protect those who can't protect themselves. I've grown stronger. To protect those who can't protect themselves. Nothing stopping me now. Gotta keep getting stronger. Oh, that was the wrong person. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, we got him leveled up. At least some. Are they strong? No. But are they a little bit more usable? Probably. Okay. Uh, why didn't it remember my moving these people? Like, why wouldn't it save that? That's such a weird thing. All right, it's fine. Not a big deal. A little frustrating. Kind of dumb. Did it also forget me moving items around too then? Probably. That's a weird way of doing that. But it's fine. Okay, um, and then one of you was switched with him. doing that. Um, I need to check who's the leader at any given point. I keep on making stupid mistakes. Um, you can go out, though. Order must be preserved. I rise to any challenge. It shall be done. Alright, the Allow geysers me. actually... I don't know if we can fly over those. A brisk flight. Should be it. Yeah, why not? I'm out. Militia fights on. Do you need something? Right. An ill omened battle. Oh, I get to. No, I only. Never mind. For a second, I thought I'd be able to move their units around and stuff to give them. A little bit more survivability, but that's not the case. 
Yeah, we gotta head straight north right now. They're even stronger than I expected. So be it, we'd never perish this easily. Okay, we're gonna actually have to rush. All right, let's get all... Okay. Um, flying units, I feel like. And we might actually want some uh, light feathers. You the guys of the holy hold this down. That's a lot of water there. Think those are the geysers we've been hearing so much about? They are. Get close at the wrong time and you'll see just why everyone's warned us about them. Units that come in contact with an erupting geyser will suffer damage and be temporarily immobilized. This will leave you susceptible to incoming enemy attacks, so be sure to time your advance with extreme caution. Here, take these. They're called Giant's Canopies, and they'll keep you from taking damage from the environment. Try using one before you boil us alive in those geysers. Okay, am I actually able to get past them like this, or is that going to be too close? I think I'm going to save, just in case. And we're going to see if we can sneak past these. I'm ready. Understood. Whew. Barely. Who's my target? Right. I rise to any challenge. I stand ready. Understood. Try me. I also forgot to move uh, Prim back to Do a unit with Aramis in it. Understood. Our success is inevitable. Santor! Very well. Nowhere is too far. The position is ours. I never miss my target. Probably should have gotten the other girl there first. Franz was doing much better than this group is doing. One hundred five, one fifty-two. Okay, that's not going to make a big difference for us. It looks like. Somehow that gets us a tiny bit more damage. All 
Alright, Rolling Axe is almost certainly going to be our best option here. Crush does inflict stun, but since it only hits one, I don't think it. Mm, we need it. Whoops. Meant to put that at top. Okay. Bunch of us are going down, it looks like. I think I'm just gonna have to be okay with that right now. Not much I can do about it. Hold fast. You'll be okay. I'm here to help. Stand. Oh, I wonder if I put him in the back, but now Albin still isn't a good front front liner, so it probably wouldn't have made much of a difference. How oh, embarrassing. It's settled. I rise to any challenge. I stand ready. At once. There has to be a way. Too far. Understood. I'm ready. I don't actually think you can sneak by that. lot of them. So 55 to 3. This should already be hitting the armored anyway, so that shouldn't make any difference. Yeah. What if we were using this instead? Yeah, it does more damage. It's more potent against uh, those guys. So it was either magic damage, but the magic damage wasn't as effective as the ability that actually just bypasses armor big time. Cool. Try this group. Gotta give our desert a good name. I'm up. Be there in a sec. Got some steel for you. We shall see our duty through. How's that for desert pride? Let me add him already. 
doing it. You're asking for it. We strive. Not bad, not bad. We're done here. You see that? I'm up. Be there in a sec. Okay, you did take damage from that. I think I'm gonna live with it though. Um, I'd appreciate some assistance. Down to four items already. That's eh, not a great place to be. I've Do run. you need something? At your service. Allow me. I stand ready. Who's my target? Understood. I'm ready. Let's be as safe as possible. Heading there now. Try me. Okay. Four, thirty-eight, ninety-six, eighty-eight. Yeah, the piercing attacks. Uh, putting you on your own, they're going to be going after you, so nobody behind you. I think that does make the most sense. Okay. Yeah, it's not great. I am with you. Stand true. I'm here. It's up to you. This should help. I could have tried Albin in the back line. No quitting now. No Hindsight is 2020, huh? At least it would have been something to check, you know? Do you need something? Damn. My speed units just aren't my best units, you know? And I thought this unit would do a little bit better against the flyers than they are. Part of me wants to start over, but your orders. Can't believe they've already lost a unit. I'm ready. Okay, can't move through the water, so I actually do have to get through this. Who's my target? Nowhere is too far. I You're appreciate healed. it. I don't think that brings people up, Do though. You need something? Let's see if that brought Say somebody what's up. about to happen. Oh, 
my target. Okay, so it doesn't. Got some steel for you. Oh, regrettable end. Not even worth bragging about. I've grown stronger. How's that for desert pride? What do you need? Here ya. Guide me, oh father. Eh, it's not a good pair up, but you're not struggling. Shame what's about to happen. I'll fix you up. Gonna cut you down. You asked for it. Charge! Let me at him already. Doing it. Do you need something? Who's my target? Right. I'll pierce you clean through. People not to die like one time. It's settled. <laughs> that went better than God I damn. expected. Okay. I'm ready. Who's my target? Understood. Uh, you, you, he's done. Like I don't know what else to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Do you need something? Who's my target? Why are you being so aggressive on that? Damn it! You're not. <laughs> you got I'm in ready. here just fine, bro. Right. He's about to Who's my fucking set off that mine. Let's be cool about this. <laughs> Understood. I'm prepared for anything. Uh, those guys are good at killing cavalry. A test for my magic. Simply say the word. I'm on I my way. I still just have no idea what the best groupings are to take out these wyverns, man. These wyverns are the bane of my existence. I've also got so many cavalry, it makes it tough. Like, most of that damage is probably happening to Miriam. <sighs> I'll show you what a witch can do. It'll be done. <laughs> eh, sucks for you. It seems we've made it just in time. Come, my prince, there's not a moment to spare. Yeah, this group is not gonna crush this, trust me. The rebels have walked straight into our trap, ma'am. A valiant attempt at nobility, dragged through the dirt by their own naive minds. All units change course, we strike now at the liberation. So wait, what's happening? They're coming at us? I'll be going now. I think I'm okay with that. Guide me, oh father. 
I mean, would this group be okay against them? Would this group work against them? Maybe with Sandstorm? Too weak of a front line. They don't have true strikes, do they? Got the sting of a scorpion, just say the word. This'll be fun. Requesting further command. No escaping a crossbow. I'll lend you my aid. through a single fight without somebody dying <sighs> nobody's dying here let me at him already be there in a sec if I have to yep damn it I was Face gonna make demise. them turn around man part of me wants to restart this is going so poorly Two forty seven. She's a Dodge tank. Doesn't that guy have self-guards? What is he doing? I need to recheck his abilities. That dude should be reducing some of that fucking damage. Maybe those were unguardable attacks. Defeat is not an option. Let's see. Block an enemy attack with a medium guard. So yeah. Um, so these must be... True Strike doesn't mean unguardable, though. It just means that it'll hit, but the guard should still reduce damage. Or does that not work the way that I think it does? Allow me. It shall be done. At your service. We may fall, but our flesh and blood will feed Drakenhold soil forever. You get like two seconds after that triggers. All right, it probably reset all of my shit again. Why doesn't it remember that? That's so frustrating. You know, fuck me, dude. All right. No, fuck. Return to the overworld. We'll set this up out there. fuck's sake. Alright, our units suck right now in this fight. Um, how the fuck do you fight these wyverns? Alright. Let's use her, in, her as an example. She has decent physical defense. Slightly less magical defense. Now, compared to everybody else, like, her magical defense is still actually pretty good. Didn't they say in the elf area that magic was good against wyverns, but, like, 
It didn't actually stat-wise seem to actually be the case. Like, we've actually got a number of people who are over-leveled for this. But we just don't have the right groupings, or units just are not performing well. I've gotta- I've gotta think this through. I don't... I don't know, man. I have to figure out how to get these Wyvern units a little bit better. Because right now we're really struggling. <laughs> Okay, I might have to do that off-screen, but we're kind of at our hour anyway, so... Um... Off-screen, I may just, like, jump into the battle and just try out different unit combinations and try and figure it out. Um... Just a trial and error thing. But... Yeah. I'm a little annoyed, but, you know, we're gonna- we're gonna fail sometimes. Um, anyways, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters. Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Dowdy, Timothy Jansen, Skip, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.